Okay, well, this is it. This day has been a long time coming, but we're finally hopping on to Tondaleo in Kalala Bay, and we're delivering her up to Kayama Harbour. It's just me and Neil today, the uh, one of the original and best fire sale crew members. He's just dropping the car off, and then we're gonna head out. The difference between a yacht delivery and, say, a coastal cruise is that you uh, you just want to get the vessel where you're going in the safest manner without hurting the boat or the crew. You're not necessarily just cruising along with all your sails up. So in this situation, the weather forecast for tomorrow and uh, the next few days is reasonably decent southerly coming. Um, so we're going to try and beat that. What that means is the sea at the moment is really quite uh, flat especially for the uh, east coast of Australia. It's, it's, yeah, really flat. We've got predicted today light nor'easterly breezes, like almost no breeze up until about two o'clock, and then a slow coastal onshore breeze um, up to about 12 knots, which is still nearly nothing. It means in this boat, we'll just be driving into it. And you sit there and think, what a shame for such a beautiful catch to be able to um, have this beautiful coastline and actually motoring along it. It sort of seems wrong, but that's the nature of deliveries. A lot of yacht deliveries I've done, we've motor sailed or motored at least half the time because you're trying to make a passage, not for your own enjoyment, but for a customer or for a mate, and you just want to get it there uh, without any damage. So that's where we're at and um, yeah it's a momentous occasion time to hit the road as they say quarter past 10 and we've just untied the lines everything's been stowed nicely and we're just going to motor our way down around point perpendicular and it'll be a motor all the way really we'll just see how we go Thank you so much Kalala Bay and Jervis Bay Yacht Club for providing me with a basically an emergency mooring really. Good bunch of people in that club. So this $15 little tool, although they can't really spell, uh, it works pretty well. It's just a like a digital thermometer, so you just point it, see that red dot over there? That tells you the temperature of what you're pointing it at.
site when uh, the sun's gone down and you just see that little light under the belaying pins there and that is the Kayama Lighthouse. Still got an hour or so to go but the sea's definitely calm and we're making good progress now. We're right off Jericho here. Uh, that's uh, Surf Beach just straight ahead. You probably can't see much but it's very refreshing for us to be able to just look at all these familiar sights as we're coming in in the night and uh, just duck our way up and around the uh, Kayama Bluff. And we'll be good. 